Hey everybody, this is Raphael over at Anaheim Automation. Today's tutorial is going to walk us through the steps of running a program on an actual device. To do this, we must first download the corresponding Android operating system through our SDK manager. Since I am using the Samsung Galaxy, my operating system is Android 3.2, so Let's go ahead and open up the SDK Manager. So, Programs, Android, SDK Tools, SDK Manager, Run as Administrator. Yes. Okay, don't want to show the installed. Um, I only want Android 3.2, so let's deselect all the 4.0 stuff. Um, I want the SDK platform, the samples that come with it, and the Google APIs. The Zoom to me and Zoom 2 are just drivers for other devices that we don't need. So let's just install these three packages. Accept all. Install. So now the download process has begun. This shouldn't take the longest time, but it might take a minute or two. Now that our packages are done loading, let's go ahead and close this. We can go ahead and plug in our device. So here goes. So Windows should start looking for a driver. Here we go. So Samsung Android it seems to have found it. ready to use alright close now let's test it and see if Eclipse will recognize it so let's go ahead and open up Eclipse the test will be whether or not the device is recognized by Eclipse so if the AVD launches then Eclipse doesn't recognize our device but if it doesn't launch then I'm sure it'll upload to our device so once Clip is finished downloading, we'll run as Android application. Alright, so it's finished downloading. Let's go ahead and run as Android application. Alright, so what we can do now is just go into our command prompt. So CMD, change directory. We're going to go locate the adb.exe once again so let's go into our c drive program files android android sdk platform tools adb.exe let's go into its properties get the full file path okay copy let's close all this paste it our new directory is platform tools so let's go adb kill server since it isn't, it isn't running it will probably return not running but we'll do it anyways so server not running so now what we'll do is an adb start server and you see down below the connection attempt so start start server enter connection attempts have stopped and it's successful so let's try this once again android I mean run as android application and voila success we have our application on our Samsung device great so as you can tell the device driver downloaded quite nicely this has never happened to me before but the solution that has always worked for me is to go into Windows Update I'll check for updates and once this process is done it'll show you the updates that are optional mandatory going to important updates what you're looking for is Samsung USB driver here we go this is what you're looking for so let's download this okay install updates and once you do that, 
you're all set to go just right click your project Android run as Android project and you will now be working on your device